Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. The world is in a tight spot. We've got our work cut out for us, what with the rest of the world looking like this. But we've managed to find the Diviner's Altar. And what can we do here? But we can make holy water. And whatever this is. Banishes curses, cool. Make the divine daggers again. Also these cool tiles, which is... That takes a whole lot of stuff that we don't have access to. But what was that that the holy water needed? That's what we need to make pure water. Hey, you know I know where to get pure water. Hey, before we do that though... We can make that a proper room, which means we can sleep. Before, do, before we do that, don't have any reason to go to sleep right now. In fact, I don't know if nighttime really even does anything here, other than is more depressing. But there is a water purifier over here, and we can get pure water from it. I'm gonna get a couple. Can always use more pure water. I don't know how many I'm gonna want. Let's go ahead and go with ten. Ten is probably gonna be a good starting point at least. At least that's a thing we have. Don't actually need any more coarse cloth, so you know you guys are just a bother. Oh my goodness, the guy respawned. Or if he didn't respawn, that's his buddy that was hiding around the corner. I like how, given how depressing everything is, even the skeletons are like grayscale. Like, not even they have any color to them. Okay, holy water! Oh, that's nice. All it takes is pure water. The stuff is effectively free. Ah, oh, and let me tell you how much of this I'm gonna use. In the morning. So the holy water is pretty great. As you see, it's a bottle of blessed water with purifying powers. It purifies the surrounding land. So finally, we have a means to combat the cursed land. We can come out here and use this vial and turn the land green. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to deal with your idiot self first. So we're going to have to do some tests to figure out what the range is on this. It's pretty easy to see horizontal range. But I'm not sure if there's a vertical range in terms of... We'll find out right here early. Yeah, it seems to be just flat. It'll go three blocks high. Three blocks high and like two blocks low. So let's make this place look fancy. All right, that's good. So I stand here, it'll also get the block below me. Hey, right. Yeah, the two dirt blocks that I put down are fixed. Look at this, it's looking just a little greener. We can do it. Now, one thing I always wanted to do was just holy water everything. But like, 
Wow, that takes some time. Okay, the rocks are still rocks. But the trees become trees and the branches gain life. The bodies become flowers. A little fitting. I do not know what the horn has become. Let's go test that out. Like man with trees now. Trees. Oh, they turn into like little shrubs. Hope we don't need horns for anything because I can lose all of them. Is that Dragon Lord stand still in the standard still in the middle? Sure is. All right, well, we've learned the good of the land. Again, the little weeds turn into the little green bushes. And like, it's super easy to make just a billion of these. It's super easy to just make a billion of these. So it's mostly the time involved. Like, it would be so nice if it were faster to just, like, tear up the land with these. But you do what you have to. Hey, dude! You can actually make something out of the world! You're, you didn't say that, did you? Well, that's ridiculous. I like how he joins the party, but it's just, like, to get here. It just needed him to... Really, guy? It's nice, though. It was just a neat, like, he'll follow you here. That's why I should use this. Oh, yeah. Use holy water. Use that holy water. Look at her, it's a real live princess! Wait, we've seen you before, haven't we? In one of our flashbacks. Wow, you're the first person who's actually talked good about our face. Everybody else just says we look like a potato. Save everything. How do you know all of this? Could you, like, hear while you were in there? No, because she doesn't know how much time has passed.
I mean, I'm sure she knows something's up. Yeah, because it's gonna be that easy. Oh no. Oh no. We don't even have a town! Or walls! Or anything! Can you give me my hunger back? I am actually a little. Uh... I mean, it's... yes. Alright, protect the princess! We got this! We still don't have a banner, though. I mean, I've fought some skeletons before. There's only three. So that's cool. Heck, I fought three once not long ago. We'll be fine. Heck is already half dead for some reason. All right, 1v1 me. We did it. I think they hurt themselves by jumping off. Bunch of idiots. A teleportal? What? I've had a lot of practice. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. And that's true. That's true. We were told from the very beginning we're not a, we're not a hero. Or the builder. And everything that we've accomplished has been due to what we've built. Like, heck, we murdered a lot of things last chapter, but that's because we had cannons and things. Not because we're especially good at fighting. We're not a warrior. Well, I fixed the holes, so we're good there. And I got this teleportal. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Nothing left of it, but to get to Tantagel Castle. What? What? Oh, you're gonna make me actually take a nap. I mean, it is getting late. Ooh, another flashback.
So it's not for us to defeat the Dragon Lord. But the Dragon Lord... The last hero didn't do so hot. This is something that they haven't outright told us until now. Though you probably did a pretty good job of guessing what happened a long time ago. But this is a world where after, at the end of Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest, first one, uh, when you went to confront the Dragon Lord, he actually gave you an option of joining him and being by, ruling half the world by his side. And of course you're supposed to say no and fight him and save the world. But you can say yes. And that's the world we live in. And of course the Dragon Lord, being the Dragon Lord, twisted that around and gave the hero the nastiest half. So he's not even ruling proper over anything. But we are not a hero. We are a builder. So we have to build up the world and prepare the world so when the hero does come by, the hero will be ready to take on the Dragon Lord. We've fought off some monsters so far. A Magmalus, Fern Fiend, even that con the Hades Condor. But like, they're all just regular enemies. None of them are... The Dragon Lord. Given all the preparation we're doing, though, I wonder if there's a hero on his way now. I wonder if there's a hero out there now, following in our footsteps, getting ready. Oh! Wherever that is. Well, time to hop on in and see what we can find. Tatantagel Castle! Man, this music too. I don't even know much about like, I can't even place it. I don't know enough about Dragon Quest to place it. But like, even I recognize this music and go, man, that is some Dragon Quest music. Of course, everything is as grim as always. Let's lighten the place up some. Lighten us up back here some, too.
I must have been standing on like the smallest thing that put me technically two blocks above this bottom. I mean, I was trying to stab that guy. Here we go, we did it. Man, I want to light up this world so bad. I want to make everything so bright and shiny and great and good. And Hammerhood! Hold up, I want to kick his butt. Boy, I'm gonna need some weapons. Fur And goo! I gotta re-get my goos. Because you never know what kind of goos you're missing. Ooh, so what do these turn into? Oh, the health bushes! Is that a castle I see? Okay, I'm gonna hold up, I'm getting tired of this guy. I mean, it was, at some point, a castle. I guess that's where his journey ended. But he's told us something important. He's told us the location of the standard. Until next time, everyone. The castle is in shambles. But we're darn well gonna make things right again. <laughs>